Hey everyone, I'm just going to make this little quick update video because I haven't done anything in a while. Um, last week was the extreme heat and uh, this week um, I was in the hospital. Uh, I was over there Monday for a bunch of testing and uh, yesterday I had surgery to replace my pacemaker defibrillator again and so I am not supposed to be doing any heavy lifting or any kind of driving for at least seven to ten days so I'm kind of uh, on the injured list right now so um, as you can see this is my Alice Chalmers B28 1968 model um, I finally got around to mounting the AG tires on it. Um, I took out the 12 horsepower that I had in there because I needed that for another machine. And I'm putting this 8 horsepower back in it. Um, and I have been doing a little bit of straightening up, or I was up until this week. Um, things a little neater, a little better organized. It doesn't look like it, but... It is. I've got a bunch of shit to throw out. Um, so, you know. Uh, that's kind of uh, about what I'm up to. So this is going to have to sit here for a while. Um, like I said, um, I just found out yesterday when they discharged me from the hospital that, oh, by the way, you're not supposed to drive for a week. I'm like, well, that would have been nice to let me know. Before I went in the hospital, um, that's the wooden machinist toolbox that I got for free. Uh, and this is the Craftsman metal box, car hardly say. I just picked up this little Craftsman tombstone toolbox uh, last week for all kinds of stuff for uh, 10 bucks off of Facebook. So, I've been getting a little bit of good stuff here and there. Um, um, I had picked up another toolbox full of tools at a yard sale for 30 bucks. I kept a bunch of the tools, and I sold the toolbox for 20 So, I only got $10 into a pile of tools. I think. Yeah. I don't know how much of these you're going to see, but... Here's some of the tools that I picked up. This is one... This is a really old Craftsman ratchet, you can see by the handle there. These are all American made, I believe most of that stuff is SK in there. There's a bunch of SK stuff in here, this is all American made, good stuff, no crap. I went through the, throughout all the crap and uh, just trying to weed through it and keep the good stuff around. So, I've tried to put all these toolboxes on this card. I'm still trying to go through everything and get things better organized but you know as you can see there's boxes of stuff everywhere and I said I was going to keep all the neat old stuff that came out of that box just because it's like a time capsule you know so I did save all of the guys old prescription bottles and his Georgia Tech matches and a heck of a Sheffield cigarette matches. You know, his old pens and, you know, just notepads and such. There's nothing really of value in there, but uh, I kind of kept it just because of the history of the box and the fact that it had been closed up since the 60s. So all that stuff was put away, like when the last day he stopped working, and that was that. So, just trying to hang on to some of that stuff just because. But, uh, yeah, so, things are not, uh, they're not as bad as they could be. But, uh, you know, I feel like I've been chopped open with an axe. Um, I, I got, uh quite a bit of <laughs> pain in my left area of my chest and uh so and of course I was wide awake during the whole procedure well not wide well I was awake but 
they had like a local, you know, put on there. They didn't knock me out. Um, I was talking to the the uh, my doctor who was doing the surgery and the uh, the the guy who was uh, handling the uh, pain relief there. So um, I was quite aware of everything that was going on, and I was quite aware of feeling most of what they were doing and I must tell you that was not very pleasant so um yeah that's kind of about it right now things kind of look the same I I managed to move a few things around I said I had to dig that tractor out so I could get working on that I was trying to get all that done but uh you know as it is it's just not happening so Last week, like I said, we had that giant heat wave. It was over 100 degrees, and even in my basement, it was only like 70 degrees, 77. I had a fan going. I had the dehumidifier going. I was still sweating like crazy down here, so. Eh, so I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to, but uh, I did get those. I've only had those AG tires for about, I don't know, two years. And uh, I've been sitting here waiting to go on the machine. So they're on there. Um, so this is just something I use as a toy to ride around when I go to tractor shows. Uh, so that was my plan anyhow. And uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, really about all that's going on around here. So I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to have a video with some better content or whatnot. I'm not trying to complain or anything like that um because it could be worse but uh i'm just going to be on the outs for a little while so uh unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do a whole lot which it's going to be tough for me because i like to keep myself occupied and doing things and of course you know i don't want to damage the area that they've stitched up and whatnot or glued together whatever they've done um so I'm supposed to just uh, take it easy, no heavy lifting, no driving, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's kind of about it. So for the most part, I'm uh, I'm going to be sidelined for a little while. So when uh, when I feel a little better and I'm able to get the green light to be able to go do something again, then uh, I'll probably do some other stuff because I did. Uh, I do have another riding mower. I'm not sure if I put a video up of it when I got it or not. I don't think I did, but I had purchased another riding mower, um, and I, knowing full well that the engine was no good because I had the engine sitting in this, and it had a double bagger on it. Um, in fact, it's very similar to the tractor that uh, I think... Actually, I think Road Kings might be a little older than this one, but anyhow... Um, the price was tr was cheap enough. Um, I bought it just basically for the bagger, if nothing else. But anyhow, that's a story for another day. So uh, I'm not going to keep babbling here. I'm just going to let everybody know that uh, I'm still around. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. It's just that you may not see anything from me for a little while or at least anything that's strenuous. Like I said, I got lots to do. I really wanted to get back and working on that Cushman, but... Uh, I don't think that uh, welding and laying on my back and all that kind of stuff is a good idea right now. Like I said, my shoulder is, uh, my left shoulder is pretty, pretty hurting right now. So, um, and I really don't need to go back into the hospital again. So I'll have to just try to take it easy and obey the doctor's orders. And uh, like I said, um, when things get a little better and I'm able to do a little more, I'll put up another video. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching, commenting, like, subscribe, and uh, thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.